Against the backdrop of a war between humans and robots with artificial intelligence, a former soldier finds the secret weapon, a robot in the form of a young child. The movie begins with a series of clips promoting the use of robotics and AI. In the promotional video, the use of robots and AI as a workforce seems convenient and efficient at first. However, the robots and AI also spark a world war and nuclear attacks. In response, the Western world bans the use of AI and pledges to hunt the remaining robots and AI. One night, a group of Western soldiers is deployed on an island in New Asia. There, lives ex-Special Forces, Agent Joshua and his pregnant wife Maya. The couple happily talks about their unborn child while cuddling in bed. Suddenly, a loud noise from outside emerges. A group of AI brings an American soldier and interrogates him. Joshua immediately wears his electronic prosthetics because he lost his limbs during the war. The AIs leave, and Joshua tells his wife to pack up and get her things. When there are only the two of them, Joshua talks with a man who appears to be his friend, Drew. Joshua is confused about why they are attacking them and tells Drew that the man they are hunting, Nirmata, is not there. Joshua then picks up Drew's radio and reports to the commander of the raid that Nirmata is not there with them. While doing so, his wife comes back and thinks that Joshua is still one of them and just pretends to be her lover. She grabs a gun and points it at Joshua. Joshua reassures her that he is an ally and tells her that he truly loves her. Maya responds by asking about the welfare of her people, her family. Joshua tells her that they are not real because they are just AIs. The only things that are real are him and her. However, Maya refuses to listen and runs with the AIs to escape. Unfortunately, the spaceship Nomad launches a missile that kills the robots along with Maya. Joshua wakes up from a nightmare, reliving the tragic fate of his wife. He takes his medicine for his PTSD and is then consulted by a therapist to check his status and progress before going to work. While at work with his workmate, a robot comes alive and speaks like a person, causing his workmate to panic while Joshua takes charge of the situation and shuts down the robot. Joshua works in salvaging robots that are already damaged or broken because of the war. Later that day, Joshua watches videos of his wife. While watching, he remembers the time his wife customized his electronic prosthetics and their time together. While swimming, General Andrews and Colonel Howell meet with him and inform him about a special mission. General Andrews briefs him about the secret weapon, Alpha and Omega, they have to obtain, and the creator they need to hunt down. They need to find the secret weapon created by the creator because it has the power to end mankind. Joshua refuses at first because he is still bitter about the fact that he was close to finding the man they are looking for, but they messed it up by attacking and killing his wife in the process. However, they show him a footage recorded two days ago where his wife Maya is living with the robots on an island in New Asia. Surprised by the revelation, Joshua agrees to join the search and destroy mission, ultimately reuniting with Maya. After a long ride in the air, the team arrives at the facility and commences their mission. The team tries to interrogate the villagers to know the entrance to the facility, but they keep their mouths shut. Fortunately, Joshua, being familiar with the place, twists a totem and opens an entrance. The team goes down and successfully breaches the control room and headquarters. The team finds the workers in the facility and shoots at them. Alerted by the intruders, the facility's doors are closed down, and the robot cops arrive to arrest them. The woman soldier left at the top asks for backup. The team then decides to leave Joshua with some of the soldiers as they search and destroy the secret weapon, and the remaining team comes to help above. They manage to hack the system and open the door to the secret weapon. Joshua goes inside alone while the soldiers with him hold their enemies outside. While Joshua walks deeper inside, he sees a couch and a TV. As he comes closer, he sees a robot girl watching television. He hears a sound elsewhere and thinks that it is Maya. However, a woman in a lab coat shoots him down and tells the robot girl to find her mother. The team aborts their mission, and the spaceship Nomad is about to launch another missile after they retreat. However, Joshua and other soldiers are left behind as the extraction chopper flies. Unfortunately for them, a bomb attaches to one of their soldiers' backs and explodes. Joshua witnesses what happened, and the Nomad eventually fires a missile at the facility, affecting everyone around it. The next morning, Joshua wakes up on a boat and sees the robot girl staring at him. He walks away and ignores her. 
he sees one of his allies, Shipley, lying down and picks up his radio to communicate with their team. Joshua thought that he is dead, but he appears to be alive. Joshua immediately brings him to a house for cover when suddenly the TV turns on. He finds out that the robot girl is still tailing him, whom he ignores. While aiding his teammate, he receives a call from Howell and asks him about the secret weapon. Joshua reports to her that the target is just a kid. The colonel then instructs him to eliminate the robot girl, but the police arrive at her location and interrupt their conversation. Joshua is about to execute the mission and shoot the robot girl. However, he sees a familiar image the girl is drawing. He stops and tries to ask the robot girl about the image. Suddenly, an old robot comes and points a gun at Joshua, where he surrenders and puts down his gun. The old robot reassures the robot girl and tells her that he will kill Joshua to keep her safe. Joshua's interpreting device interprets what the old robot says and quickly shoots the old robot before it shoots him. The police get alarmed and go to their location. Joshua immediately brings Shipley in the car and tells the robot girl to come with them. The police robots throw a grenade at them while Joshua is still starting the car. Luckily, a dog bites the bomb and brings the grenade back to the robots, causing damage to the police. Joshua carries the robot girl inside the car and manages to drive away. Meanwhile, Cowell and one of the soldiers, McBride, manage to carjack the police vehicle. While Joshua is driving, Shipley points a gun at him and tells him to bring him back to the base. However, Joshua tells him that the base is too far, so he is bringing him to someone who can help him. As they are talking, Shipley loses his breath and finally dies. Where the robot girl thinks that he is just turned off, Joshua notices a car coming towards them and tells the robot girl to pretend to be human. He puts a head bonnet on the robot girl's head and gives her the nickname Alfie, from the word Alpha Omega. Eventually, their old car breaks down, but luckily, a local comes by and gives them a lift. After they leave, Cowell and McBride arrive and see the corpse of Shipley. They immediately put him on a device where they can transfer his consciousness for 20 seconds to an AI. They resurrect him for a while and ask questions about the secret weapon. However, Shipley is confused and panics as they ask questions until the 20 seconds run out. Later that day, Joshua's car is stopped at a checkpoint because the authorities are wary of him. Joshua hides in the back of the car while the father drives the car. The police then insist on putting down the window because they are getting suspicious. While the police order Alfie to put down her window, she poses like she is praying. While doing so, a blackout occurs where Joshua takes their chance to escape. The two arrive in the city and Joshua asks Alfie about the whereabouts of his wife. The two proceed to continue their search for Maya. When they arrive in the next city to meet his friend, a concerned citizen sees them and reports them. The two go inside a robot-making factory and meet his friend Drew, together with his robot lover, Kami. Drew checks on Alfie and finds out that Alfie is unique. Alfie is a robot that can grow. Her capabilities are limitless. He tells Joshua that when the time comes, Alfie will be capable of controlling all technologies anywhere. While they are discussing things about Alfie, Alfie and Kami go to their condominium to eat ice cream. Kami gets the ice cream, not knowing that the police disguise as the delivery boy and the ice cream contains a bomb. The bomb explodes, destroying Kami. The police go to Alfie, attempting to capture her. Joshua suddenly appears, shoots the robots, and stuns some of them. Afterwards, Cowell and McBride arrive to eliminate Joshua and Alfie as they disguise as the police robots. However, they have already left, and only Kami's body is left behind. They arrive at the place where Joshua and his wife used to live. He goes alone to the ruins, but Alfie stubbornly follows him. Frustrated and filled with sorrow as he sees their wedding ring, Joshua vents out to Alfie. Alfie gets scared and cries. When Joshua sees Alfie teary, he apologizes and embraces her. Suddenly, Drew comes to them, running, warning them about an incoming attack and gets shot. When Drew is about to die, he reveals that Maya's father was not the creator, but Maya herself. They try to run away, but they are already surrounded. The leader comes, who appears to be his long old friend, Harun. Harun then orders one of his soldiers to make him unconscious. The next morning, Joshua wakes up and sees Harun outside his cell. Harun tells him that they did not initiate the nuclear bombing. Instead, humans made a human error and blamed them for their mistake.
Harun tells him that when Maya's father died, he replaced them as their new leader, the mother. Harun, thinking that Joshua is a threat, points a gun at Joshua to end his life. However, he is interrupted by a noise outside and goes to take charge. Alfie goes to Joshua and frees him. Joshua escapes and hides under their boat. They arrive in the city, and Joshua sees that robots live as if they are human beings, with consciousness and morality. When night falls, Joshua sneaks inside a house to recover Alfie. He turns off Harun so that he can retrieve Alfie from him. The whole city eventually gets alarmed and tries to capture them. However, the big tanks and spaceships of Americans attack the city. The large tanks and spaceships fire explosives and missiles at the city. Alfie sees what's happening and comes back to help them. The villagers try to escape as the soldiers fight back, but auto-lock missiles hunt them down. One by one, the soldiers of New Asia fall. The American troops proceed to attack by launching a robot which runs head-on to an area and self-destructs. One of those successfully self-destructs against their enemy and destroys many. The second one is also deployed. However, it suddenly stops in the middle of the bridge when it comes face to face with Alfie. The robot bows down and stops when suddenly a gunshot knocks Alfie down, belonging to McBride. Joshua sees what McBride has done, so he shoots at McBride's legs to stun him. He warns him not to shoot back, but he tries to, which is why Joshua finishes him off. Joshua immediately carries Alfie from the self-destructing robot before it explodes. Harun sees what Joshua did and regains their trust. Afterwards, they go to the machine sanctuary where the mother, Maya, is located. It is then revealed that Alfie is created by Maya as the representation of their child. Joshua goes up to the mountains where Maya lies. When he comes by, he sees Alfie embracing Maya, who is in a coma. Joshua then tells Maya how he loves her and how he is regretful for everything. Knowing that the American military forces are about to storm the sanctuary, Joshua is left with no choice but to terminate Maya's life support. Alfie and Joshua embrace each other while crying as they bid farewell to Maya. The military troops storm in and reach the main sanctuary to end Nirmata. Cowell arrives and orders Joshua to terminate Nirmata and Alfie. However, Joshua refuses to. When Cowell is about to shoot Joshua, Harun comes behind her, where she turns. Harun pretends to surrender. When Cowell turns her back to Harun, he fires a sticky bomb in her back and gets shot dead. Cowell realizes that there is a bomb behind her. She panics, and the soldiers try to remove the bomb. Alfie helps her by freezing the bomb, but the soldiers misunderstand what she is doing. They point their guns at her, so Joshua has no choice but to tackle her. She loses concentration, and Cowell and the soldiers die from the explosion. While they are escaping, the soldiers see them and bring them inside the Nomad. General Andrews then orders Joshua to neutralize Alfie himself because she does not trust anyone and might cause problems. Joshua then enters the room and shoots a stun gun at Alfie, which appears to kill her. General Andrews orders bringing Alfie's body to the Nomad Laboratory for experiments. Joshua then volunteers himself to be a part of the team bringing Alfie there. Little did they know, Alfie is still alive, and everything is part of Joshua's plan. While on their way, Alfie sabotages the vehicle, causing the driver to lose control. The two escape by going through a manhole. Eventually, they arrive at an airport where they hijack a spaceship. Joshua and Alfie hijack a space shuttle and fly to Nomad the massive orbital weapons system that the military has used to conduct airstrikes on AI strongholds. Alfie uses her electromagnetic powers to stop Nomad from firing its missiles, while Joshua attaches explosives to one of the warheads set to detonate. However, Alfie discovers a number of synthetics on board Nomad, with one of them bearing a striking resemblance to Maya. Using a scan of Maya's brain that was performed prior to her death, Alfie boots up the synthetic and attempts to drag it to the shuttle, but she fails. Joshua manages to get Alfie into one of Nomad's escape pods and launches it, all the while struggling from a lack of oxygen due to his having to blow the shuttle's airlock to stop Nomad's armed forces from killing her. The pod launches just as the bombs go off, destroying Nomad and Joshua along with it, but Joshua manages to secure a moment of peace before his fiery end. While racing through Nomad, he encounters the Maya synth and kisses her just as the station explodes. Even though it's wires and steel instead of blood and flesh, it still contains her essence, her soul, meaning that his quest to reunite with her wasn't in vain. At last, 
they manage to bring down Nomad. The new Asia robots raise their flags as a sign of the end of the war and the start of peace.